Hello, it's Hammy time, and in this video I show you my cage setup for my IKEA DIY double Linman hamster cage. I did a Hobbit natural woodland cage theme set up for both enclosures. The top enclosure belongs to my dwarf hamster, Theo. And the bottom enclosure belongs to my Syrian hamster, Evie. It has several DIYs. Some are old DIYs that I've used before. And some are new. I put in a lot of bedding to give my hamsters plenty of bedding to burrow in. Hamsters like to burrow, which helps keep them busy so they don't get bored. When they're not sleeping or eating, they're often fixing their nests or digging out new burrows. I made a hill of bedding on one side to get the bedding as high as possible. To get the bedding to stay in place, I made a frame out of cardboard to contain it but still allow for digging. I made wood platforms to stabilize everything on the surface, like the wheel and the sand bath. The platforms in the front make a cavity under the bedding which creates a starting point for my hamsters to dig out burrows. To set up the enclosures, the first thing I did was take measurements to make the platforms. I used poplar wood from the craft store. Poplar wood is a safe wood for hamsters to chew on. I cut them to size and sanded down the edges. I used non-toxic hot glue to glue on the legs. I wanted the platforms to blend in with the bedding, so I lightly stained the wood with some children's brown tempera paint. The stain is a little bit of the paint mixed with a lot of water and then wiped off before it completely dries. To make the frame for the hill, I put down some paper to sketch out the appropriate size and shape for the base. I made templates and cut the parts out of cardboard from the dollar store and then glued them together. I covered the frame with paper bedding that I glued on with children's school glue so it blends in. I cut and glued on popular wood dowels to raise the frame up. I put the platforms and frame in Theo's top enclosure and added the bedding. I think it took four of these bags to fill, maybe more. When I add bags of bedding to enclosures, I have a little life hack that I learned from a woodworking channel. Paper bedding can get really dusty, so I taped an air filter to the back of a box fan and run it while I'm working. It does a great job catching a lot of the dust. I use this hack when I clean my house, too. One thing I would have changed is the platform for the wheel should have extended all the way to the corner because the water bottle goes there. There needs to be a stable place to stand so the water can always be reached. Sometimes I have to fill the corner up with bedding because my hamsters sometimes dig there. To make an entrance to the platform in the front, I buried a hollow corkwood log down into the bedding. I used the hobbit houses that I had already made and used before. I cut off the back of Theo's house so it's just the facade. I ended up changing this bowl for Theo's sand pit because I couldn't put the grass along the rim of the bowl. I did the same process for Evie's enclosure. I made the frame, I put everything in, and I added the paper bedding. I made these DIY hollow tree branch hides for Evie. These are a good alternative to corkwood logs, which can be expensive. They're made from hamster-safe materials. I made them from paper towel rolls and cocoa husk chips. To make the smaller branch, I cut two paper rolls in half and glued them together with school glue. I waited for it to dry, and then I cut out a circle on one side. I made a shorter one. I inserted it and positioned it at an angle and marked where to cut. I cut it to fit and then glued it in place. I cut the ends to make it look more natural. I glued on the chips with school glue. I glued on some very thin chips onto the inside edges. I painted the inside with children's brown tempera paint. 
I made the large one bend by cutting slits to make it flexible and gluing pieces onto the elbows to hold it into place. The slits also keep Evie from sliding down inside. I glued some bamboo sticks to the bottom of the largest hollow branch to help keep it in place. The paper pulp clay mountain I put in Theo's enclosure is one of my DIYs from a while ago. You can click on the link to watch the video to see how I made it. I stained it with brown tempera paint to blend it in with the bedding. I attached the water bottle holders. I wanted them to blend in with the cloud background, so I painted them light blue with tempera paint. I made some new fake plants that are hamster safe. I made mostly grass, but some are plants that were inspired by plants in the woods behind my house. These are not made from paper like the ones I made in the past. I have a different video coming out on these. It was way too much to put it all in one video. My hamsters do chew on these a bit, but these last a lot longer than the ones I made from paper. These are very cheap to make, so I have a bag full of replacements. The side of the hill was a little too steep in the back, so I decided to make a ladder. I made them from applewood sticks and school glue. At this point, I added a strip of lights around the top of the lids. For the final touches, I added some pine cones. I only used the ones from the pet store because the ones from my yard could have pesticides or bugs living in them. I added some oat sprays and millet sprays. I don't put in too much at one time because my hamsters tend to eat these too fast. I added more plants and chew toys. I added sanitized rocks for stepping stones. I put in their 10 inch night angel wheels. I put the water bottles in a little later. My hamsters use both water bottles and water bowls. I switched out Theo's sand bath bowl. It's a vintage casserole dish I got from a thrift store. Evie's sand bath is a casserole dish in the shape of a potato. I got it from a thrift store as well. The sand I use is sanitized children's play sand or natural repti sand from the pet store. The last thing I did was put Theo and Evie in and let them check out their new enclosures. Thank you for watching.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 <laughs>